West Georgia is coming to town this weekend, and boy, they, they are a program that is really playing well. Been to the semifinal game, Division II, twice over the last two years. I have not won to get a chance to the national tournament, the national championship game, but uh, they've done well against Valdosta State over the past few years. But we need to get that peach basket back today. I get it about the 33, 34 yard line going right to left. Takes it, rolls right, looking for somebody. Throws downfield, got him. Catches, babe. What a great throw and a catch over there by 83, Donovan Bolden. A big win for the Blazers, 38 to 27 over one of the top ranked teams in Division II football, Tom. A big win for the Blazers. I just, a uh, big win today. Uh, I'm excited. I'm going to go celebrate a little bit, and uh, y'all did a great job. Thanks a lot, Tom. See you next week. Uh, my name is uh, Dick Rocky. I do radio play-by-play -play for football and baseball, and have done that for, this is, football is my 19th year of doing that. My name is Tom Odom. Uh, I do the sideline broadcast with, uh, with Dick Rocky and Spencer Van Horn. We brought on, uh, you know, a few years ago. Dick and I have been together. I think this is our 19th year, uh, and I do the sideline. I was in the box with Dick, and my personality, uh, I just need to be out. And uh, we think it's been a better, better broadcast and a better job with me on the sidelines. He's like a caged animal up there. So I finally moved him down to the, you know, they had the people on the, the guys on the field with their mics and stuff. And, and I have another guy in the press box with me. And Tom was comfortable because he's so close to the football. I mean, the, everything. He can go places that most people would not be able to go. And by that, I mean, when you're on the sidelines doing that, you just walk through, you don't stop. Well, Tom will stop and, and he can get away with it. Dick does play by play. Uh, and you have in, in radio, you have what you call the color commentator or, or, or the backup guy. Uh, we added, uh, I went down, I was the color commentator uh, when we brought Spencer in. Uh, I said, hey, I'll go down. And so Dick and I uh, do most of the talking back to each other. Uh, we've just been together so long, I kind of feel his pulse. And, uh, but the difference is I'm down where we're sitting now and I'm walking back here uh, and lots of times in certain stadiums, uh, the, the venue, you cannot see the numbers real good. So it's a twofold thing. One, to tell them what's going on on the sidelines. The second is they cannot read a number on who intercepted a pass, made a tackle, was hurt, whatever. And so I help and aid in that. Uh, but other, other than instant freedom of being down here and seeing what's actually going on way down here on the field instead of in the press box is what, what I do. We have fun doing the game. If you're, watching, if you're listening on the radio, driving around on a Division I football game or anything, it, it's, it's, too, it's always serious, it's so serious. And you got the play-by-play the -play guy and then you got the color commentator and they, they go through every single play of what, why they do this. Why, we, don't, we don't do that, we don't, we're not coaching, we don't criticize them or anything. I, I didn't, I, well, sometimes I do go crazy on the, on the calls, the radio calls and, uh, and I tell people if, if they can tell me, if, if they listen to the games a lot, whether it's baseball or football, they can, uh, I may not give them the score at that moment, but they can tell but my voice whether we're winning or losing. And they say it's very obvious. Run him down. He breaks it at the 20, the 15, the 10. He's going to take it all the way. Missed a tackle on the 28 yard line, Dick. And that'll make it 13 to 6. Had him in the backfield, missed a, missed a tackle. There's a kick, a high kick. Kick deep into the end zone. Is he going to come up good? And he is at the 4, the 15, the 20, the 25, the 30. Cuts outside. A great return there on the far side of the field by Jeremy Demby. Trailing by point in motion goes Germany. And Roland fumbles the football. They pick it up, and he's going to take it in for the touchdown. Holy cow. Makes it 19 to 6. Had to, he... Fake the handoff to Germany. I dearly love it. I, I'm right now, I'm in good health. And uh, I take it year by year right now. I have three lovely grandbaby daughters. And you know, I just haven't been, I haven't been, have, I haven't had to make a choice as of yet to go watch 
one of my grandbabies play a sport or go on the road with football. Uh, I just don't know how that's going to feel, and, and I feel very confident that if I get that question asked to me, then I'm probably going to say I need to give this up. It's been a good run and everything. Not saying that on the, on the radio right now. I'm just uh, Dick and I. We think that we have the longest duo running of anybody in in the country in Division Two football with radio, and uh, I mean being the same. Not people that are doing radio, but having a team like we've done, uh, and I have not missed a football game uh, in this 19 years. I even, my wife was in a terrible accident, 97, was actually in a coma for uh, six weeks. And I had a, had a booster that came to me and just for me to get away, we were playing Georgia Southern over there and I had a, a, a booster say, hey Tom, you need a break. Nobody's gonna fault you for it. Uh, I got, I told her mama and everyone else, and they said, no, you go. And so uh, this booster flew me to Statesboro. I did the game and flew me back, and I went back to the hospital. So I have not missed a game, literally any game in, in uh, 19 years. So good record there. Uh, I love it. I will continue if everything works properly. You know, I just, that's a, it's a good, not on the spot question. I just don't have the answer for you. I hope that I'll know when it's time to stop. Uh, it'll be hard, but there's a, there's a point at my age, uh, it's, it's just time to go to help. And of course, my wife Dina will, will be a part of that too. And, uh, and I, I don't know, you know, there are guys that do this into their 80s. I mean, I'm 70 years old and uh, I, I don't know uh, and if who I would listen to would be my wife, and if Herb comes to me, because that's that's the main one. If he he tells me well, it's time to move on, and we never discussed that, but uh, I want to be the one to say it's time for me to stop. That's going to be hard, though. <laughs>